in this video uh, we're going to be talking about the panel control. Uh, the panel control in ASP.NET will allow you to group many ASP.NET controls together for easier manipulation. Uh, for example, if you want to work on, say for example, you have uh, four different types of radio buttons. So if you have four radio buttons for one thing and you have another radio buttons for another thing. So if you have so many radio buttons in different groups and you want to work on them at the same time, you can put all the four different groups into one single panel so you can turn them off turn them on or you can uh, you know just group them sometimes you only you can even use the control uh, the panel you can use the panel to group items together just to for the beauty of it just to make it look more nicer on the page i'll be using the panel control to hide or show a group of asp.net controls depending on the radio buttons that you have selected we're going to see an example in a minute panel control renders the div tag within the html page so when you use the panel control it actually generates the div tag the properties that are supported by the control panel include sorry i could i keep saying the control panel the properties that are supported by the panel control it's like control panel panel control include the default button property which is used which is used similarly as it is used in form default button remember we set the default button on the form to the button that when you press the enter key on your keyboard then the, the button will send the form back to the server so the panel also has the um, attribute of default button so that if you have many buttons inside one panel you can select which button will trigger the uh, uh, the keyboard we actually works with the enter keyboard on the keyboard so uh, the default button will be executed when the enter or return key is pressed on the keyboard group text renders the panel as HTML field set with a legend. You're going to see what this means. I mean, if you don't HTML and you know the field set tag, and uh, if you use the field set tag uh, with a legend, you're going to see the results. Um, and you can also set the scroll bars property uh, of the uh, panel control, which allow you to set if the panel will have a scroll bar, maybe horizontally or vertical around the content within the panel so let's go ahead and just uh, show some of this in uh, the VWD 2008 so I've created the panel control example so which I want to open up now and uh, let's go to the design view so this is our panel so this is how it works if this is just a normal div tag so what we want to do is um, okay you can just drag a panel onto the page and when you drag when you have a panel on the on the on your page now what you can do is you can put controls within the panel which is what I've done so you can put an image you can put anything that you want any of these controls can actually go into the panel because panel all panel does is just group the items together so it doesn't do anything special to uh, just group them together so let me delete this just want to show you how to add a panel so what I've done is I've added two panels one panel at the top here one panel at the bottom and I've added two labels two text boxes into each one two labels two check boxes into this one as well and uh, this is the uh, field set or the let me show you the grouping text I was talking about so as you see the grouping text will uh, give it the legend the, you know the legend that you have in HTML it's going to name it the panel and I've done the same thing for the uh, the second panel so what else I've set is the height and the width and uh, that's it really so what I've done here as well is I've added two radio buttons so and I've given them the same panel status I've given them the same uh, group name so they can behave they can be mutually exclusive so if we run the page you can see how it looks we have two we have two uh, con we have two panels which have grouped four different controls so this panel has, it's got four other controls inside this one has also got four other controls out so the purpose is if we select this male we only want this male uh, panel to show if we select the female we want only the female panel to show so let's go back to our code 
and see how we have written the code so if we go to the source view you can see that uh, there's no big deal in this code it looks uh, modded up it's just uh, a lot of labels and a lot of uh, inside the panel you see we put everything inside the panel this is the panel control at the top here and also panel that closes it and we have a lot of different four different controls inside so uh, the radio button with you know so so now let's go back to the uh, the radio button one checked event so we want to change when we select the radio button one when it's checked we want to make the panel one to be visible and panel two to be invincible so we say panel one dot visible equals to true because the panel support a uh, property known as visible just like other controls so we set the panel two does visible to be false so we do the same thing here so when we select the radio button two we want the panel two here to be visible and the panel one to be invincible there's a different i mean there's a lot of different ways you can do this this is probably not the best way but it actually shows you the uh, the reason why you might want to use the uh, panel in your program so let's go ahead and run the code and see how it works so as you can see if i select the mail if i select the mail here the uh, because I set the auto post back of the radio button to be true, it posted it back to the server and uh, we have the male panel. So if I select the male or the female, you see the female panel is displayed. So so we can uh, automatically display and uh, hide and show different um, groups of ASP.NET controls. So this is one of the um, ways you might want to use uh, a panel or another way is just to uh just to uh, you know make things look more organized as you can see this one looks more organized because of this rectangular um, border it acts around it so um another uh, property of um panel that you might want to take a look at is the the scroll the scroll bars if you set the scroll bars i mean you know the scroll this is a scroll right look this particular thing that you see is I can scroll up and down so if you set the height and if you set the height and the width of your panel to be certain to be fixed say for example you set it to maybe 200 by 200 so if the height if the items inside your uh, panel is getting longer than 200 it's going to automatically add a scroll bar if you set it to uh, auto or you can use vertical or horizontal I mean there is a lot of uh, differences between different browsers and they behave differently depending on what you set so it's always good to set auto so when you set auto it will automatically add the vertical or the horizontal uh, scroll bars to your panel so this is all I want to talk about in terms of uh, panel and I hope you've uh, learned something so I'll see you in the next video thank you